it's the Memorial Day weekend, and uh, we're on the road again. It has bridges. The kids are going to be thrilled and there's water right next to where we're going to park. This is going to be awesome. So, we made it to camp. We're making yeah. dinner right now. We're going to have some steak. A pan fried steak. Yum. And uh, tomorrow I get steak and eggs. But we ended up at Birch Creek Campground. It actually. Birch? Bird Creek <laughs> Campground. And yes, they did have spots. So not to keep tomorrow anybody in suspense. We're going on a train ride. David's right. Tomorrow is a train ride. Literally. And then uh, we'll probably do a stop video for the train ride. So we'll just keep this video to our little camping adventure at Bird Creek. And uh, and then we might do another, we might do another couple of uh, little trips that we'll do separate videos for. So yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, but uh, yeah, steak, salad. We got a maple bourbon bacon chopped salad. Okay. Some taters. David, what'd you get? Waffle fries. David got some waffle fries, so this will be a pretty good dinner, I think. So. And a hot dog too. We'll see you on the next. All right, so here's our campsite at Bird Creek. We'll talk more about it in the morning. But let's say goodbye to today. It's been a good day. All right, so it's morning. Morning, and it's breakfast time. So all right, there's breakfast. Hi, 
have a train ride. <laughs> and what are we having for breakfast? Omelette. Omelette. Yeah. So, behold, from where our trailer is parked to our campsite, you have to go over a bridge. And then you got this green area right here that we're setting up a badminton court. And then you go back further over another bridge. And then here is the picnic area of this campsite. And the stream runs all the way around and into it. This campsite, this is the, we are the first people to camp at campsite eight, or is it seven? I don't know. Eight. It's eight. So anyway, we're the first people to camp here at campsite eight at Bird Creek because they redid this whole campground. The fire pit has never had a fire in it. None of these have ever been used. So this is pretty cool. They just opened it about a week ago in fact, it was still marked as closed on the Humboldt Toyabe National Forest website. And uh, that's pretty crazy. I mean, we just barely, barely able to use it now. Um, and it just happens to be that we're traveling right now and, and uh, going to use it. But yeah, this is a very cool campground, very cool campsite. And uh, we're uh, anticipating some fun. So here we are checking out the campground, the stream that runs through it, and there is this structure right here, which is the historic intake structure for the McGill smelter. Um, we'll have to check in on the history on that. These campsites are actually pretty great and actually very well spaced, so there's a lot of privacy. So anyway, this back to this intake structure, the water comes in and then gets dropped down and I assume it goes via aqueduct to where the smelter used to be. So I'll have to check in on that. Uno game that's going on inside and we're gonna go talk a little bit about the shower that we've got going on now I'm not gonna show you the contents of that shower because it might be a little provocative <laughs> but uh, what we got here is a little bit of a review on this hot water heater and uh, it's a cool little deal you can dial up the temperature on it it pulls water out of a five gallon and then it feeds it through to a shower head that you can turn on and off. So real cool feature and it doesn't have an onboard battery. So you plug it into your car. So Cheryl, yeah. how is it? It's good. All right. She says it's good. It's nice to be clean, even though I don't feel like it's incredibly dirty to begin with, but still it's nice to wash off the grime. And yep. especially the soot from the train ride. <laughs> yep, there you go. And we'll talk more about that train ride later on. Game going on. Yay. You draw this card! Lily, go now. Go now. Go! Let's play this one. I pick green. She's about to get schooled by a six year old. Five year old. I pick green. Wait, who's next? Me? Yeah, that's you. All right, David. Oh, yep. Wait, Lily, put it on. <laughs> they don't even remember who was doing what. Cheryl, how do you feel after your shower? I thought we were doing a selfie and not a video. I feel clean. Yeah, first time in <laughs> camp, huh? Yep. Calissa's in the shower right now. There's so. soap on the shower head. There's soap on the shower head. 
So uh, this is probably a good time to introduce our new piece of equipment. We got ourselves a cheap drone. And so <laughs> <laughs> let's show that, let's roll that choppy footage. <laughs> Alright, so yesterday, Sunday, was an interesting day. We didn't take a whole lot of video of Sunday. So we got up, we went to town, we went to church, and that was a really good experience for us. And uh, then came back, we had a quick lunch, and then I got my obligatory Sunday nap. <laughs> and then, uh, what, about, what else did we do? We drove out to Great Basin National Park and we drove up to Strawberry Creek Campground. So Strawberry Creek was, uh, we went camping there for two years, Memorial Day weekend. Um, Lily was a month old, two months old the first time. And she was about a year and a half, two and a half the second time. And the summer after that second time, there was a fire that ripped through that area, completely devastated that valley that the camp is in. So we drove up there to see, and it was definitely devastating. Yeah, just as bad as we'd expected, if not worse. Um, completely just leveled the campground, which is exactly why it's important that uh, you take care of the natural surroundings. The other thing is also don't wait to take advantage of uh, the world Special around moments. you. Yeah, because they might not be around for very long, especially think about your kids or they're gonna age out pretty quickly so go enjoy yeah sorry the area is coming back though aspens are already starting to grow back in the area uh, and there's a lot of grasses and shrubs that are coming back so it is making its way back to greenery but it'll be a long time before it sees any campers again yep and and the National Park Service removed literally everything except uh, the bathroom except the bathroom <laughs> Um, but they removed all of the fire pits, the picnic tables, pretty much everything that had been there um, before the fire, they removed. Uh, so there's no chance of it coming back to campground really ever. Uh, or at least in our lifetime, perhaps. Um, yeah. So then we went back, then we started home and uh, we, uh, we took the back way. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a Smith Fam adventure if we weren't out on. Uh, dirt roads somewhere, checking out places we've never been. We are on the road from Cave Lake up and out of Cave Lake over to the Duck Creek Valley. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this road uh, supposedly 10 minutes shorter. Well, uh, I don't think it's 10 minutes shorter now. But it's sure pretty. of a hairy ride. <laughs> it, was, it was an adventure and that's what we're all about, right? Exactly. That's, that's <laughs> what we're all about. So we got back to camp, we had some dinner, 
What did we have for dinner? I don't even remember. We I, had hamburgers. Yeah, I threw some burgers on the grill. Anyway, mm -hmm. it wasn't that memorable. Anyway, we, we went ahead and had some dinner and uh, some hot chocolate for in the evening and cookies and played a game of Phase 10. I mean, it was fun. It was good. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. It was our very, very first game of Phase 10 as a family. So it was, it was interesting. It was good. <laughs> So it's now uh, Monday morning, and uh, this is the last day in camp. We're going to eat some breakfast, break down camp, and start getting rolling towards home. I know, sad, sad story, but uh, we're going to have some breakfast burritos. All right, so it's now Monday, and uh, we've had some breakfast. We're going to play a game of badminton and then probably go do some rock hounding and uh, head home. So we're all packed up and uh, let's go get to it. As you can tell, we have not been playing badminton for very long. This is actually the first time we've gotten this set out. Yeah. So we're not very good at it yet. <laughs> hey, Mom. All right, so we pulled out of camp. And we are up here at Garnet Hill looking for garnets. And off in the distance, that is the Ruth pit of the Kennecott Copper Company. Uh, that is one of the largest open pit mines in the United States, at least in Nevada. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been around for a while. So we're going to go dig up some garnet. All right, so this is where we're going to leave you guys off. We're on our way home. We uh, found about four or five garnets. Don't know if they're really that great, but we found four or five garnets. It's kind of hot up here, so we're heading home. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you all on the flip side. <laughs>